Let's say you need to apply multiple filters to a query set to get some specific data from the database. And at this point, you will apply some chained filters to a query set, and which will make the code look a bit complicated, uh, actually not clean, and sometimes even you have to reuse this logic in different parts of the code base that will basically duplicate the code, and which makes it harder to understand what's going on behind the scenes, why we have so many filters chained to a query set. And uh, it's not just only filtered, the other functionalities of OREM can be applied in the same way, but since I'm going through this example, I will show you how to handle the, how to optimize, um, how to optimize this logic, make it reusable, and make it also readable uh, by using Django managers. Alright, so now let's assume that we have a blog app uh, with these two models, post and comment. And what we want is to fetch only the active comments that belongs to a specific post. I will just show you very basic flow of creating custom Django managers, and then you can apply the same logic to your project simply by extending it. That will uh, the, the main thing is here to understand what Django managers are doing and how they are optimizing, how they are making your code to look clean and reusable. Okay. So since we are going to fetch only the active comments, uh, let's see this field, the status field here. Uh, it's a choice field, and the choices are active and spam. So the comment can be active or spam. So in order to create Django Manager, we have to create a new file inside our app named managers.py. Oops, I just forgot the S. Let's say managers.py. And then let's import from Django DB, import models. And then we have to define our custom manager class. And I will call it comment manager. And that will inherit from models.manager. And we're going to define our custom method under this class or custom methods uh, that will basically apply some uh, table level filtering um, to our to our model. So let's say that we want to we, we said that we want to fetch only the active comments. If we just use comment objects um, filter and status equals true, we're applying this filtering for each row. So basically that's going to be a row a row level filtering. But by using the managers, we're applying table level filtering by Basically, not, not just calling the objects default manager of Django model, but we're creating custom manager that uh, that's applying table level filtering and gets only the active comments. Okay, then we can use some other filterings, for example, in specific date range or I don't know, for specific that belongs to specific post model and so on. Okay, but the base, uh, the base query set is going to fetch only the active comments and that must be applied in table level. That's somehow, uh, that's the way um, it will optimize our query sets and that will optimize our query and also make the code look clean and can be reused in different parts of the project. Okay, so let's apply def um, active comments. We're going to pass this self argument here. And then return self dot filter status going to active. Oops, like that. Okay. Now we have to tell the Django that instead of um, instead of using the default manager for the model, use the custom one that we created. And to achieve that, basically set the objects to comment manager that we created. So each time we call objects, uh, instead of getting all all data from the database, Django will uh, apply some table level filtering that will get only the comments that those have active status. Okay, then we can use some other filtering in our views, for example, um, that will also filter each row and find the specific comments that belongs to a particular post. Okay. So save, and then let's go to views, and let's apply the logic here. So let's say command objects and 
active commands. So that's it. Um, by this way, we just we will get all active comments, okay? But we said that we want that uh, that's going to belong to specific post, right? So let's apply one more filtering filter post uh, post ID equals post. Oops, post ID. And since we are returning JSON response, let me just add values here to make a JSON serializable, okay? And so that's it. Hopefully we are able to see only the active comments that belongs to, let's say, the post with number with ID 1. Now let's run the server, manage py. Oops, I just forgot to run server. Uh, manage that py, run server. Okay. Now let's navigate to... the Django server host. Okay, let me just cut paste. I think I forgot the number one. Okay, and so um, the post with number one. I already created some dummy data, so no worries. Here it is. We have two active comments that belongs to uh, that belongs to this specific post. Okay, and in fact, if we navigate to admin, but before that, let me just show you. We have two records. Okay, uh, with the message hi there status active and good one status active and let me just navigate to admin you will see that post number one has oops ha, the post with number one has four comments and two of them is active and two of them is spam for example um, free tokens everywhere that is spam so actually uh, which means that the django manager applied some filtering in table level before we use it uh, before we use it in our views, okay? So that's how you can decrease the level of chained uh, filters or some other Orient functionalities. Even that's reusable, let's say you have another view and you, you want to get only the active models but in a specific date range. What you will do, you just objects active comments and then you will just simply apply another filter that's that will get you what you want. Okay? Well, I guess that's all for this episode. I hope you learned something and don't forget that I'm bringing all this information to you from real world applications where you can apply same logic to your projects to make them more optimized, clean and readable. And I will continue to share with you. Um, I will continue to share some more tips and tricks with you while continuing my journey in development with Django and Python. And before I end up this video, I just wanted to I just want to mention one more thing. Uh, recently, I registered from the Brave Browser Content Creative Platform, something like that, and verified those three items: my GitHub profile, uh, personal blog, where you can access by entering this address here and my youtube channel so if you want to support me in case you can just send a bad tokens uh, as a tip to support me to create uh, to continue to create this uh, series and that will highly appreciate it and motivate me to continuously upload and publish videos in youtube and of course in blog post as well and even if you didn't check the blog as well uh, i'm sharing even more detail with you in the blog in the blog post series, so I highly recommend to check those uh, those web page as well. So thank you for watching, and see you around.